Hello guys, it's Lee here. Welcome to another video. So a few days ago, um, I uploaded a video that was talking about the best cards or the best graphics cards for Ethereum mining. Um, and there was three uh, contenders. One was a used 7950. Uh, the, the next one was a R7 370. That was kind of the mid-range one, but um, a new card um, that hash well and efficient. And then there's like the top of your range uh, card, which was the R9 Nano, which was crazy fast, but also um, really ridiculously expensive as well. Um, so from that, actually at the time of, just before I actually made that video, I'd already uh, made the purchase for um, two used 7950s. Um, I was going to buy the, the R7 uh, 370s, but just at the last minute I decided to change my mind. Uh, it was a little bit of a, a cheap out um, sort of option, um, but I decided to go with that anyway. So what I did was um, ordered some 7950s. Um, I ordered two of them, and one of them has just arrived now. So I ordered them second hand, and when you do that from the actual supplier that I used, um, you don't get a choice of what graphics card you're going to get. So it can be any, any. It's going to be the the right um, the model. So it's going to be a 7950, but you don't have any choice from the actual manufacturer. So whatever turns up, um, you don't really know. So the the best you can kind of hope for is what you might what what you might like to receive. Um, so of the 7950s, one of the the cards that I personally prefer is the the XFX um, cards or also some of the MSI cards are quite good as well. Um, but anyone with a twin fan or a really good cooling sort of option, they're the best ones. The reference designs um, are good, they perform just as well, um, but they make um, a lot more noise because they've only got a single um, tumbler fan. So um, I've got one of the actual, the card is sort of uh, just turned up here, um, and it's obviously boxed, uh, it's just been dropped off by the uh, Royal Mail. So I don't actually know what's inside, so what I thought I'd do is um, I'll just unbox it with you. Um, share what's inside and then later on we'll go through the actual um, setup and check performance and all that kind of stuff. Okay, so I've just adjusted the camera and made a little bit of uh, space on the desk. So uh, let's uh, open it up and let's see what we've got. Um, you know, it is a uh, used card so it's not quite as exciting as uh, you know your brand new stuff but the the other advantage is you like I say you don't actually know what what model or anything you're gonna get so it's still quite interesting to open up see what we've got just kind of uh, trying to get in here now with uh so the thing is with this um supplier which is a uh, computer exchange uh, they send everything out uh, most of the time directly from the actual stores themselves. Um, so it's quite well packaged. Got plenty of bubble wrap in there. Let's just move the box out of the way. Um, so far, I'm not seeing any uh, anti stack bags, or anything, which is a, a little bit disappointing. But the paper bag's okay. You're not going to get much static or anything. And let's have a look at what we've got. So we've got a XFX 7950. So it doesn't look too bad from the outset. I'm just going to earth myself a little bit. Um, so this is actually a little bit different to some of the previous ones that I've seen. So it is the XFX uh, model, and it is also, well, according to the fans, it is the Ghost Edition, but normally they have. This looks like an aftermarket part or something because it, this part here is actually trying to pick up in the camera. It's normally got like a red bar. I've not seen this particular one, so I don't know whether um, it's been replaced at some point or like I said, or it's like an aftermarket piece or something. But yeah, all the previous ones that I've seen have always had this um, like a red bar going down there. So that's on the front side. It is a bit grubby. It's certainly not the cleanest condition cards, and that's one of the other things that you don't really ever know what you're going to get. So some cards are, you know, really nice. They literally come. I had a sapphire one once, and it was like it was literally boxed like new. It had like the plastic sort of cellophane wraps on it and everything. And um, this one is a little bit grubby, but the main thing is that it works. Um, so just looking on the uh, back, you've got all your standard components. There's nothing really much on there. It just says the um, 
obviously the make and model, uh, 795A, uh, that just tells you it's 7950 series. Um, I've got the PCR power connectors. Sometimes, depending on the model of these, they'll either have two 6-pin connectors or sometimes they have a 6-pin and an 8-pin connector like what this one has got. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still kind of curious about this strip here. I'm not sure if you can see it on the actual camera, but there is a, a bit of dust and stuff on there as well. Okay, so that is the actual uh, card itself. Um, what I'll do is that once the other one um, arrives, I'll unbox that and we'll do that as a comparison. And then we'll get into the more of the actual uh, getting these set up and then tested. Okay guys, so just uh, continuing on, our package has arrived, which is our second 7950. And I'll be uh, unwrapping it now and we'll, uh, we'll find out exactly what we've got inside the uh, package. Make, model and all that kind of uh, details. So uh, let's uh, open it up. Okay, so let's uh, take a look inside and see what we've got. Um, apologies for the uh, lighting. Um, it's kind of uh, 7.30 and I'm literally just kind of rushing to get this done. And the sun has gone down and we've got a nice collection of uh, chip bits in here. This, uh, this looks kind of interesting. It looks like a... Um, a triple card fan design, which let's get it out. Which is not something I've seen before, it looks pretty um, unusual. All the cards that I've ever had in the past have always been, you know, uh, your double uh, slot type. Trying to get it open without tearing it to actually bits. We've kind of uh, done a pretty good job on the packaging here. And um, try and get in there. Obviously, I don't want to actually cut anything that I shouldn't, that would be a, a bad day. Just kind of get through there. Slowly working our way through. And let's have a look at what the hell have we got here. Okay, so the first thing is the card looks a bit bent for a start, so that's not great. Uh, it's actually, uh, does look actually quite a bit damaged. So, um, so this is the actual card itself, it's the Asus uh, Direct CU, but I don't know if you can see it. Let me just change the position on it, I just want to also uh, ground myself a little bit as well. Um, but you can see it's actually a bit damaged. Um, I'll show you this uh, left hand column. It's a triple card, uh, triple card piece, but it's kind of a bit uh, bent in. I'm not too sure how that well that comes across on the actual uh, camera there. The main body is quite good, but this bottom housing that should all be uh, straight and flush, and it's actually uh, kind of bent in there. Actually, it's taken a bit of uh, battering, I guess, during the actual postage of it. It wasn't, you know, it's, it's bubble wrapped quite well, but it wasn't. Um, boxed so it looks like it's taken a bit of a actually if you look from this sort of a angle I'm not sure how well that comes across on camera but it's got this part is all straight and then this part is kind of bent over by quite a bit so I'm not too sure on this card I don't know whether to even test it or just send it back immediately or what the what the deal is so otherwise it would normally probably have been like a really good card but it's got such a kink in it. I've seen before with some of the long cars, they you know have had a kink in it, but I don't want to take it and then it. I don't know. I'll, uh, I think what I'll do is. Uh, I don't know actually. I don't know. We will leave that there. We'll uh, consider our options. I'll take a lot a more thorough look over it and see if just make sure there isn't any sort of a crack components or anything like that. Um, I mean, it might be okay, but it might not. Um, but I will update you on the next section. Okay, so I've just spent a couple of minutes um, straightening out the actual chassis of it. Um, I've had a look at over the actual um, printed circuit board itself. Um, it doesn't really look like anything's cracked or fractured. Um, I can't see any signs of, uh, although it's you know bent, there doesn't look any signs of any sort of serious stress on the actual card or the components itself. So I think it will probably uh, be okay if I just grab the card. Um, not sure how well you'd be able to see it, but if I just kind of hold it 
straight you can sort of see the line that comes along of the actual PCB and then as it gets the actual connector itself it kind of comes up um, it's actually much better than it was when I first um, un, uh, un, unpackaged it but it's still got a little bit of a kink um, it doesn't really show that well on, on the actual uh, camera um, the card actually is a pretty hefty card I know this is what, one of the more premium cards because it has a double uh, heatsink and it's actually a it's the first one I've actually seen in person is a, a triple card design secret one two three it takes out three uh, slots it's also uh, quite a long card as well but I think I'm not sure how well you can see but beyond each of the uh, double fans they're also quite big fans as well I don't know what the actual um, uh, diameter is but I guess maybe like a 60 mil fan or something like that so they're they're pretty big fans and behind each one of them there's a pretty good heat sink and also lots of um, heat pipes as well you can see there's sort of three come out there but there's a whole uh, cluster of them on a centerpiece and then obviously you've got the main uh, GPU there as well so it has two uh, six pin PCI connectors um, I mean it's a pretty substantial bit of kit you can really sort of uh, uh, feel the weight of it it's pretty meaty um, and then but once again you can see this corner is kind of sloped off again that's partly by design I'm um, hopefully um, there's no damage that's actually occurred to it but I won't really know until I plug it in um, if it's not damaged it'll be a pretty good card it should run uh, nice and fast but also cool as well and uh, quiet which is what we would like so um, I'll be testing that shortly and uh, we'll take it from there okay guys so this was the uh, 7950 that I picked up from uh, CEX um, however it was damaged um, upon arrival uh, I tested it uh, yesterday with a different power supply um, it powered up for about 10 seconds and then shut down. After that, um, I tried repairing it several times um, and it still wouldn't work for the power supply. What I did find is that when I removed um, the two PCI Express uh, connectors, uh, the machine would power up, um, but there was still no display from the actual graphics card itself. So at that point, I kind of um, assumed the graphics card has um, had it. Uh, but I've received a new power supply. Um, it's intended for another rig, but I thought what I'd do is I'll just connect it to this um, just to rule out um, all the other possibilities um, in terms of power or anything like that. So we're just going to give it a first uh, test and we shall see what happens. So uh, just uh, power on the mains um, and then we'll just power on the pass by. And I'm not sure if you see that but there was, yeah this is exactly what I was getting um, the previous day with the uh, other power supply. So if I just turn the power supply off um, what I'll do is I'll just uh, unplug the uh, PCI Express connectors so we can see and uh, straighten up the actual graphics card okay so now if we just um, power it back on and I'll just test it without the PCI Express connectors and we'll see whether it sort of fires up more than it did so that indicates that it'll be a short with the uh, power system uh, so now you can see it's uh, spinning up again so yeah there was obviously a problem with that card when the uh, short um, 12 volt row is um, running through it. So just wanted to share that quick uh, video. Okay guys, so I need to bring this uh, video to a conclusion. Uh, things haven't worked out at all uh, as I expected. So at the uh, start of this uh, video, my general idea was to build a budget mining rig um, using a combination of uh, existing components, existing hardware that I had available and um, adding on to that some budget second-hand parts um, to build a good all-round um, efficient uh, mining rig for mining Ethereum but at the same time doing it on a uh, budget. Uh, what's actually happened is uh, kind of a thing just not working out um, as, you, as you intended. So one of the uh, primary uh, problems that we had, or I, I had, is that one of the, the uh, one of the actual graphics cards arrived, which is this one here. Uh, one of the 7950s arrived. This is the Asus Direct CU. Uh, you can see it's um, actually a lot straighter than when it arrived. Um, but yeah, this basically arrived um, damaged. So 
Um, I thought we might be able to get away with it. I have seen them before when they're a little bit uh, tweaked and their, their printed circuit boards have been um, slightly bent. Um, but I thought we might get away with it. As it turns out, as you would have seen in this video, um, I've tested it quite a few times and the card is uh, dead. Uh, so that needs to go back to the uh, supplier, which is an inconvenience because uh, my intention was to build a complete rig, uh, get it up and running and then share everything with you uh, step by step. Uh, but as it turns out that hasn't happened. So you might be wondering, well, what happened to the other graphics card? Uh, which is a valid point. So there was a second, or well, the, the first one to arrive was the XFX uh, 7950. Um, that was in a much better condition and that actually works uh, fine. But I've had a secondary issue with it and that was um, the machine that I put it in originally had four gigs of RAM. but when I removed, I had to remove two gigs of RAM um, to put into my test rig, which is the one you would have seen in this video. Um, so I can test that other graphics card, and I wanted to test that graphics card independently of anything else, um, just in case it shorted out, and I didn't want it to damage um, any of my other hardware. So that was kind of quite crucial to do. Um, but the problem that I've got now is kind of a weird issue: is that when I'm uh, replugging my RAM into my original system, those so that two gig back into that original system, um, it's causing a weird um, glitch issue with the BIOS. Um, the RAM is not being recognized properly and it's kind of a crashing system. So I can only power up that rig um, with that graphics card with two gigs of RAM, which means that I can't um, mine Ethereum with it because you need, um, at the moment, you need four gigs of RAM and also, um, you know, at least a graphics card with at least two gigs of uh, memory, which we have. So that is a, another issue but um, I do have some new sticks of RAM on order so I'm not too sure I don't think it's actually a faulty stick of RAM it's just kind of some weird incompatibility um, I did have the problem ages ago but I managed to I don't know, work around a, a solution to it but the, the problem has reoccurred so what I've actually done is I've ordered um, some uh, new sticks of uh, RAM to go in that system and that will bring us up to 4 gigs of RAM and then I can show you at least the, the XFX uh, card running um, in the near future. So, yeah, like I say, unfortunately it hasn't worked out quite as expected, um, but I will update you guys um, shortly on the progress that we made on those parts, and obviously I'll be adding bits and pieces to it as we go along anyway. So the, the Asus 7950 will be going back and we're getting a replacement, and then once that comes back, I will make a, a rig of some description and um, I'll update that video and uh, it'll be like a progress report so so that's where we are and uh, yeah I'll leave it at that so uh, thanks for watching guys I appreciate your support take care